to Bland, Richard Allen with Off Grid Technology. And today I wanted to give a little update of the channel, uh, what my ideas are going forward, uh, what I would like for this channel to grow through, um, and some of the things I want to bring to you guys that uh, have subscribed, are subscribing, uh, or you know, people who would want to subscribe and so forth. So first and foremost, um, this channel is more geared towards the off-grid side of things. Um, now, what does that mean? Uh, if you've ever seen the Tech Prepper, uh, his YouTube channel, if you haven't, I'm going to leave a link for him down below. Um, the Tech Prepper is an amazing guy. He goes through real-world scenarios um, and real-world type of events that could happen, and he practices for them. Um, such as sending, you know, digital emails if the grid goes down, things like that. That is kind of what I'm focusing on in this channel, um, as well as just general communications. Uh, you've noticed lately a lot of my stuff has been radio-based. Um, I do also do some battery, solar, things like that. Anything that's a, you know, a tech, quote-unquote, that can be used off-grid, uh, I'm going to try to bring to this channel as I come across things that are interesting um, and things that I get feedback from you guys on. <clears throat> So with that being said, um, one of the things I did over the last uh, couple weeks, actually about the last two weeks, is I've started studying at Ham Study. Uh, now, if you've never heard of Ham Study, Ham Study is sponsored by a company called Signal Stuff. Uh, Signal Stuff makes amazing antennas, um, including the Signal Stick. If you've never used the Signal Stick before, um, I'm telling you, this is one of the best antennas you can get uh, for the price. I mean, you're looking at 20 to $30 for an antenna. It's dual band. Um, they do have some other options as well, but this one that I got was dual band. Um, very great antenna. I got the BNC version as well. I just use the adapters, makes it way, way better. So if you're in the market for an antenna, um, I'm not sponsored by Signal Stuff at all. Um, if, if I would love if they would reach out to me and, and start a partnership, but I love their antennas. I've bought several of them. I wind them up and stick them in a bag. Um, they they warranty them for life. So one of the best antennas you can get out there. Anyway, going back to the original purpose of this video. Excuse me, I'm coming over a cold if you haven't noticed. I started studying the technician exam. Now the technician exam just changed. Uh, so if you have not taken the technician exam before, uh, make sure you're studying for the 2022 to 2026 question pool. Uh, there are a lot of question pools that are out there that are older now that that exam does not exist anymore. Um, so I would recommend going to, you know, someplace like Ham Study, you know, clicking on the technician. It's a free, you know, service. You can register for an account. Uh, this allows you to also do it on your mobile device. Uh, so I do have on my phone, on my iPad, so forth. I can I can take it. They have several modes study modes you can read the questions you can practice so let's go ahead and log in real quick i will show you what they've got so i've logged in for you so you can kind of just get an idea of, of what you're looking at so you can see here this is you know what i've studied over the last you know two or so weeks taking practice tests i was you know scoring low 20s at first and then i started getting you know 20s to 25s to 30s um, but literally i spent about two weeks on this just going through questions getting used to the concepts and so forth uh, and once you do that you could take the test now like i said i studied for this for about two weeks um, yesterday at 10 o'clock in the morning uh, central time i decided hey you know what i want to take the test so i went ahead and clicked on find a session found the test that I wanted to take and the place that I took it at, amazing. I will show you them here in a second. Um, but to once you get through studying, so you, you sign up for this SAM study, you're gonna study, click the study mode as much as you can, start taking those practice tests. Once you start getting above that line consistently, all you have to do is click on find a session. They're gonna show you a list of all the sessions. Now I did a remote, so if you can do them in person or remote, you click on whatever option you want. And then down here, you're going to see a list of all the sessions. So the one that I took yesterday was by a company that does it on weekends, I believe. I don't know if they do it all the time. Let me pause here real quick, and I'm going to find that for you. A few moments later. All right. So I found what it was. So 
it's ssra.net is who I took my test through. Now they do have specials from time to time. They do also have, you know, several sessions. So if you look, there's 16 of them here for them. Uh, but like I said, I just decided on a Sunday morning, hey, I wanted to take the, the 9 a.m. session, which actually this is the, the one I took yesterday. Um, of course, a different date. But uh, so you just choose which one you want. You're going to click on it. Um, here's the Spout Springs Repeater Association. Shout out to them for the, the administering the test yesterday. They were very good guys. Made me feel welcome, warm. Uh, I didn't feel nervous with around them or anything. Um, and they have a very simple process. All you do is you register for the session here. So you're going to click this button. You're going to register. You're going to have to have your FRN number. Uh, if you're not sure how to find your FRN or where your, what your FRN is, if you're already a GMRS user, log into the ULS database. Your FRN will be there on your profile. Um, if you do not have one, you just click register. They will assign you a new one if you've never been registered before. Once you register, you're going to go ahead and pay. Um, it was $35, or excuse me, $14 for them. Uh, you can pay with PayPal. You can pay with Square. I pay with PayPal. Um, they do have a way you can round up and donate to them. I did, uh, you know, these guys are taking time out of their day and volunteering for you to be able to do this online. Once it's paid for, you actually get an email from them a half an hour prior to the session start. Um, which is going to have all of your information in it. It's going to have your uh, link to the test and so forth. Um, that's going to go through a Zoom meeting. Um, very, very simple process, guys. I, I've been wanting to do this for probably the better part of a year. I've been putting it off, putting it off. I got into the GMRS gear and I was like, well, I don't really need the ham, you know. But when you compare GMRS with ham and you in the extra digital modes you get, the HF band you get, and, and more important for my use case what i want to start getting into is winlink email sms text messaging over aprs things like that that are technical so if i can do it if i can do it in less than two weeks um, i encourage you guys out there take the exam give it a shot 14 dollars. if you don't pass you can take it again uh, it, it, you know it's, it's fairly simple uh, but it's an amazing thing that you guys can go through to open up that extra ability so you know, again, I hope this helps you out a little bit. I wanted to give you guys a little bit, you know, information on being able to take the exam. Um, hopefully, I'm going to have start having some new content coming out with digital modes and so forth like that. I'm waiting some gear to come in. Um, plus, you know, I just took my exam, so I'm pending uh, my call sign from them. Uh, but yeah, guys, seriously, I encourage you to get out there. Um, you know, don't limit yourself. GMRS is great, but there's use cases on both sides. Um, I plan to run both in my in my vehicle. Uh, that way, I have full ranges of communications. I have handhelds on me that I'm going to keep with me. Um, so, yeah, definitely, guys, go out there, get certified. Give me a thumbs up uh, of what you think. Uh, you know. Right now, I, I can't buy a lot of equipment. I'm still fairly new, so I'm buying everything that I'm reviewing. Uh, but if there's things that you would like to see on this channel or technology that you would like to see on this channel, um, you know, please let me know in the comments. I try to read every comment, uh, you know, at least for the first couple days to a week. Um, but even after that, I've been known to, you know, comment on stuff from months ago. Uh, so, you know, just let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know what you're looking for in this content. Um, I'm here for you guys, and uh, I, I hope to have some great stuff that I can bring to you here in the future. Uh, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you taking this time to listen to this video, and I, I look forward to you guys later. Take care. 73.